Hello, and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. This is a quick tour of SysMac Studio and the integrated development environment for configuration and programming. I will be demonstrating how to navigate using SysMac Studio for configuration and setup, programming, and more. I currently have a project opened in SysMac Studio and on the left side this is my multi-view exp explorer window here and by pressing on this button I can show or hide this window. Now this includes the configuration and setup and programming. On the opposite side I have my toolbar and again by pressing on the toolbar I can show or hide these different window panes. Down here at the bottom I've got my controller status and this will come up whenever I'm online or in simulation mode. This lower window here is for watch window, build window, output tabs, and other diagnostics. And then this main window is the edit window. In the configuration and setup, this is where I set up my hardware. If I double click on the EtherCAT, I can see the different devices that are now in my program. I have GXIO, I have a branching unit, a servo motor, another servo motor, and an MX2 inverter. I can add more devices to my EtherCAT network over here on the right side by selecting the different type of device and then double clicking on the device or dragging it over to my project. I have to be offline in order to do that. If I double click on the CPU and expansion unit I can see here's my power supply now these windows will slide over. I can make them larger. And again by pressing on the toolbar button I can make things disappear as well. My power supply, my CPU, a little bit of information on this CPU. And then if I wanted to add some local I.O whether it's communication cards, analog or temperature controller, basic I.O., etc. Under I.O. map, this is where I give the variable names or tag names to my real world I.O. Under controller setup, this is where I can set up the communications for my Ethernet along with setting up FTP and real-time clocks as well. Under the motion control setup this is where I'll set up my servo motors. I also have cam data settings, event settings, task settings, and data trace settings under configuration and setup. And down in the lower half we have our programming. This is where you'll set up your POUs or program organizational units. And here we've got some ladder code. We also have our data types, and this is where you'll set up your structures, your unions, and enumerations. And then here we have our global variables. And global variables, you will uh, 
select whether you want them to be published or do not publish. Publish means they'll be available if you're going to like an HMI or similar. Down at the bottom here we have our watch tab, cross-reference tab, bill tab. In the watch tab it allows you to monitor I.O., change values, force I.O. on and off. And on the right hand side we've got our toolbox which these are the different tools when we're doing programming for analog conversion, BCD, communications, motion control, etc. And then down here at the bottom we have our controller status. And again, you'll have this if you're online or if you're in simulation mode. And then our toolbar at the top, here's your online to go online, offline, to go to run mode, to go to stop mode, to synchronize with the controller for troubleshooting. And then up here we've got tools, options, and this is options is where you'll set up how you want your ladder and structured text, etc., to look. And then under project memory usage. And here at a glance, it gives you the memory used in your controller. And that is a quick tour of using SysMac Studio. Thank you and stay tuned for more Omron Quick Tip videos.